Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In today's lesson, we're going to continue our module on how to create alerts in the Pro Real Time Charting Package with a look at how to set alerts with multiple conditions that have to be met before the price alert is given. So let's get started. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the pause button and click the link above this video where you can register for free access to the entire Pro Real Time package with end of day data for as long as you would like. So you can follow along with the lessons here as well. Okay. Um, the first thing, uh, well, if you remember from our last lesson, um, we had two separate signals that were independent of one another. One for if the uh, price of the euro yen crossed above the 20 period m moving average then we were going to get a signal and then a separate signal for if the MACD crosses above the zero line then we would get a separate signal okay so let's say that instead of those signals acting independent of one another we wanted those two conditions to both have to be met we wanted to have to have the cross of the MACD line above the zero line and price trading above the 20 period moving average to get the signal if any one of those happened independently of one another then we wouldn't get a signal they have to both happen at the same time okay so I've deleted the two independent signals um, that we had from last lesson and I'm gonna look at uh, how to tie those two signals together so we start out exactly the same way by clicking the alert button and then clicking in the chart window uh, where we want to add our first condition here and we're going to say price is greater than the 20 period moving average just like we did last time okay but this time instead of uh, clicking the create alert I'm gonna click the add condition button okay and then I'm gonna click in the MACD window okay and you can see that that resets the window so that condition 2 is highlighted and I have the uh, parameters for the MACD. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing here as I did in the last lesson. I'm going to say the MACD is greater than the horizontal zero line. Okay. And now I'm going to click create alert here. Okay. So now you can see the alert is show showing up in both uh, windows. And uh, uh, that signal will only be given if both those conditions are met, if both price is over the 20 period moving average and the MACD is over the zero line. Okay. And when you look at these two signals in the uh, signal window, okay, you can see that there's two separate signals here, but the ID is the same. Okay. So uh, you have to be careful here because if you delete one of these, then both of them are going to go away because they are tied together there. So if I click delete here, then you can see there that both of them have now gone away. Okay. Okay, let's look at one more uh, example here of a popular strategy that can also be, uh, or the, the alerts can also be helpful with, which is the moving average crossovers. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the MACD here and I'm going to add another moving average here. I'm going to say the 10 period moving average. Okay, make that red. Okay. Solid line. Okay, and you can now see I've got the 10 period moving average on the chart in red and the 20 period moving average on the chart in blue. Okay, now I want to get alerted if the 10 period moving average crosses above the 20 period moving average. So to do that, click the alert button and then click in the window with the two indicators here. And I can say here, moving average 10 is greater than moving average 20 okay and then I can create alert an alert there that I have for the if those moving averages cross over one another to the upside then I'll be alerted to that okay now I want to add a third moving average here okay 
And this one I'm going to make the five period moving average. And we'll make this one black. Okay. Okay, so now I've got the five period moving average in black, the 10 period moving average in red, and the 20 uh, period moving average in blue. Okay. Now I want to modify this existing signal, so I'm going to click the little signal window here, and then I'm going to add an additional condition. Click in the window again after that, which brings up the second condition, and I'm going to say that in addition to the 10 period moving average having to be above the 20 period moving average, I also want the 5 period moving average to be above the 10 period moving average. Okay, so I want the three moving average to be moving averages to be lined up one right on top of one another uh, in a bullish uh, formation. So the, the five has to be above the 10 and the 10 has to be above the 20 uh, and the five does as well there. Okay. And then I'm going to click modify alert. And now I've got that signal that I'll only be alerted if the following, both of the following conditions are met, which is that the 10 period is above the uh, 20 period and that the 5 period is above the 10 period. Okay, that's our lesson for today. As always, if there's any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And good luck with your trading.